Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I recently had a wonderful subscriber say, hey, you should do a minimal makeup look. Like what is your minimal makeup routine, skin tints, which is amazing because I have been using exclusively skin tints literally for the last couple months. Granted, I have, I did do a full coverage look a couple days ago and I'm definitely, I can see the appeal of the skin tints, especially since my forehead, you can't really tell in this lighting, but you know, I'm 30, 31 and those lines, they're getting a little bit deeper. So when I do a full coverage foundation, they settle right into my fine lines. And I found some great skin tints that don't settle into my fine lines. They really make, make my skin look like skin. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Everything oh, in this bag right here. This is an Allie Glines makeup bag. Do you guys follow Allie Glines on YouTube? She is awesome. I absolutely love watching her content. She's amazing. She's another makeup YouTuber. Um, and yeah, so that's what I have all, all of her. These are like my minimal favorites, my minimalist favorites, I suppose you can say. If you're excited for this video, push the like button. Don't forget to, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, you're probably so sick of hearing everyone say, don't forget to subscribe, but I would truly love to have you here. And then let's go ahead and get into this makeup look. Got these new workout like bra top thingies. I wore one today and they are amazing. I got them on Amazon. It's like a pack of three for $25. I'll have it linked down below, but my sister-in-law recommended them. And I'm like, wow, these are like super comfortable and three for 26. Like where, why can't we find deals like that more often? My skin is so dry. It's not even funny. Um, I am literally having so much dry skin flaking off and honestly shaving it off for me with like a little twinkle razor makes my skin more irritated. Um, I did it a couple weeks ago and man, I regret it. I need to honestly just go in and get a, what's it called? An esthetician when they, I don't know, they scrape off all your dead skin with a really, really sharp blade. What's that called? So I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Hydrating Pro or Soft Silk Primer. This is, oh my gosh, I talk about it all the time because I'm obsessed with it. It's the most hydrating primer um, that really... It just sinks into your skin without affecting any kind of makeup application. And it feels, it's like a moisturizer, but way, way, way better. And she has other formulas. Like if you have oily skin, she has that. But for me, I honestly have just been obsessed with the texture of this, how it goes on. It's great. You know, I totally forgot. I was going to put on this Derma Doctor Vitamin C Serum. One of my favorite vitamin C serums. It's just so easy to apply morning and night, but I forgot I'm not gonna put it over my primer. So I have a couple um, skin tints. I have the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. I did a whole video on this explaining like seven things. I think it was seven that you should know before buying this. Um, go over a lot of good tips, but I've been using this one quite a bit lately. And then my ultimate, ultimate like go-to favorite is also the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. What do you know? Both of these are pricey skin tints. Let me know if you have a more affordable option. I don't know, something drugstore. I should probably delve more into the drugstore with tints, see what they have out there. But these are kind of like my go-tos. This one applies best with your hands. This one though applies best with a brush. I haven't used this one in a while. This also has SPF 30 in it. But just in case, I also have my Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40 that I just like to mm, double up on because you just never know. There's just certain areas I'm like, let's make sure we get all over the neck and I love this sunscreen because it goes on clear it does not clog your pores it's awesome so I'm going to use a brush with that this is the M makeup not makeup Morphe time makeup by Ariel brush I'm pretty sure this is the foundation brush it's a 24 um, in the shade not in the shade my skin tint I'm in the shade medium it's in like this kind of packaging you've probably seen this before you push it through the holes like so and then you put it on like that. And I tried, I mean, you could probably use this with your hands. I just noticed I really like it with the brush. It just gives you like that lightest coverage, but it's really easy to blend out. I'm literally holding this mirror in my lap right now. This is 
what the skin tint looks like. It's literally the lightest coverage, but it really does give you just like this little glow over and it feels really good. It does stick to just maybe a little bit of dry patches, but honestly, I feel like anything is going to. I like to avoid putting a lot of product on my forehead and right here because that for me is where product tends to build up and look extremely cakey. Personally, a cream contour I just love cream contour. And the one I really, really like to gravitate toward is the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Light. Look at that, I've already hit pan. I think that's one of the things where you're going for like more of a minimal look, which I am. I just love cream products. I feel like they make your skin just look so much more skin-like. They add more of that depth and dimension. And honestly, it's just, it's the way to go. I can't even, I don't even know why I did it any different before. So my contour is complete. I basically thought I was recording and I wasn't. I was going off on this ramble of weather and just like mental health and trying to prevent anxiety and anxious thoughts. I basically talked about like life coaching. Do you guys follow anyone on Instagram that does life coaching? I follow someone, her name is Unstuckologist. She's awesome. Just trying to like, just trying to work with my thoughts as far as like it's a domino effect. Like if you think positively in a domino effect, then it will create that domino effect as well as negative domino, domino effects. Anyway, it's hard to explain. That's kind of where I've been at lately. I'm just trying to, I am so obsessed with this cream contour. Honestly, you could just leave it like this. I do like to go in with a little bit of concealer to just, I don't know, clean, do a little bit of cleanup, do a little bit of brightening. And my concealer of choice is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. And my shade is, I believe it's Sapia. It doesn't even say on here. Isn't that insane? It used to, I don't know where it went. But the key with my, with concealer, at least for me with these minimal looks is I'm not gonna go heavy. So for me, I know I crease up here like nobody's business. It can look heavy really fast. I usually don't really take it up there. Do some cleanup. And this shade, I feel like is a lot closer to my skin tone than a lot of my other concealers, which I like because then it's not too brightening. I've been doing this kind of cream contour routine for the longest time. Like nothing's changed for me. Do you guys like to switch up your routines often or do you find yourself kind of getting into makeup rot? How do you get out of those? I love watching YouTube videos where people do their makeup, which is, I mean, obviously why we're here, right? <laughs> this is a product I always intend to use but never quite get to and that's the Auric Glow Lust. It's by, what is it? Samantha Robin, Robindahl? Love. When I saw this, I just had to get it. I know she's having like restocks, but it's kind of like a, an illuminizer and my shade is in the shade Pirate. I have a light to medium skin tone with a neutral undertone and it basically just adds that natural dewiness. These honestly remind me a lot of the Dew Drops by Marc Jacobs. Remember those from a few years ago? But if you, uh, you can see it just adds like the lightest natural luminosity highlights without going too crazy. Like with uh, powder highlighters, they can look really crazy really fast. So the next step is we can do one of two things. We can either, well, we could set our makeup. I don't really feel like setting it right now. Um, I wanna do my brows. So I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze, which is one of the best brow products on the market, literally freezes your brows. You just run a spoolie through this, freezes them. Bam, it's amazing, I love it. And then I have my Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder. I mean, honestly, use any brow powder you want. I'm debating if I should just like lightly fill them in or if I should just brush them up. We're gonna keep it very minimal today because I cannot find my uh, brow brush. So I'm just gonna use this little spoolie. This is the Luxie 201 Brow and Lash Spoolie. Just take a little bit of that, grab my mirror and just brush these up. Don't, okay, it's gonna be, my first experience with this is like, I was like, this is so awesome. So I just wanted to use more and more product. With this product, less really is more because it will leave a white cast when it dries if you use too much. And people are going to be able to see it and it's not going to be cute. 
So you can kind of tell a difference. Um, these brows are a little more fluffy and this one is not. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other one. But what I found is you literally could just leave it like this, go on with a cream blush and call it a day. But depending on how much depth and dimension I'm wanting, I might add a powder bronzer. So I'm using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and this is in the shade Sunkiss. I'm just taking this little brush. Um, it's A11 from the Morphe Times Mario collab. And I'm actually just going to put that in my crease. I just think bronzer is truly one of the best eyeshadows, inner corner, not inner corner, blending. Just like that transition shade. Like if you do not have time to do eyeshadow and you just truly or truly just don't like to do eyeshadow, bronzer and blush in your crease. Oh my gosh, the most beautiful cohesive look. I'm now going in with the A32. And I'm just lightly going to just create a little bit more depth. I like to keep my lips honestly super simple. I usually just like wear a lip balm, but today I'm gonna to use the Fenty Beauty Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. I love this nude, just a little bit. Really barely there, you can barely see it. Just adds a nice little bit of hydration. We are so close to being done. This on this look honestly is so easy and would take you literally no time at all if you don't talk and make a YouTube video during it, okay? That's my suggestion. So I have the Merit Beauty, uh, what is this even called? Perfect Black Lengthening Mascara. And then I have the L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. I'm going to use the Merit Beauty. It doesn't lengthen as much as my L'Oreal Double Extend does, but it's a very similar formula. It does not flake, does not flake, which I'm so appreciative of. It does not smudge throughout the day. So that's the mascara, mascara, mascara. I think it looks really good. Like I said, it's not super lengthening, but it does just add a little bit of that depth and dimension. And another product from Merit Beauty. It is really high. Good job, buddy. My son is playing while I'm filming. <laughs> um, I had to get ready anyway, so I'm like, I'll just film it. Um, but this is also by Merit Beauty, and this is the Cheek Color, their cream blush in the shade Terracotta. I've talked about this a lot. There's something about this that's the absolute perfect shade. It doesn't pull pink. It doesn't pull orange. It's just the perfect. Hi. It is. Good job. Hi. I love it. It's the perfect cream blush color. The perfect nude. And I like to just put, put my, I put my cream blush, my foundation brush, whatever brush you're using. Synthetic hair is usually the best. And I bring that on the sides. I love this color because you can bring it on your cheeks like this and it doesn't look too crazy oh. my temples and that is the completed makeup look i just love how natural easy and effortless this is now the cream blush is a little creamy and so you can set it if you want i find you don't have to set it you can just leave it if you have oily skin you might want to but for me with dry skin it tends to work out super well throughout the day. The only thing you have to remember with this blush and with majority of cream blushes is the powder that you put under it. So this blends out really well on top of um, that bronzer I used, but there are some powders that it can leave a gray cast. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I hope you have a great day. Bye.